Yep, those with a fear of heights need not apply. Now, we spoke about this particular story a while ago when he was setting up to do it because it seemed like it was actually just too ridiculous for anyone to attempt. In fact, I knew that when we talked about it again, we would talk about the fact that he's no longer around because it was a crazy <laughs> story. Nick Willender has done it once again. Now, we reported on it that he would walk on a tightrope. This is now a hair-raising skyscraper crossing, literally without a safety harness or nets, blindfolded. This 35-year-old is crazy. He wowed Chicago, and yes, he did it. And, and those are full-on skyscrapers. And he did it twice, the second time with a blindfold on. And of course, when they did the broadcast, they had a 10-second delay, as you can imagine, just in case something went wrong. But you can see that there are no connecting wires. There's no safety wire. There is no safety net. He is doing this at great peril. And I love what he said. Yeah. He explained that my life is inspiring people. How am I going to inspire people to never give up if I don't allow myself to become better? It's very easy <laughs> to become complacent. Not in your life, buddy. Not in your life. When you've done something for seven generations, it's all about pushing myself. So I'm, I bet you the family is proud. You see, I can think of a hundred <sighs> other things that you can do to inspire other people. You don't have to walk on a tightrope. How high was it? I mean, they just say that the degree angle and they say um, he was walking, you know, the, the 10 seconds delay. I wonder how high up he really was. Well, it was high enough to earn him two Guinness World Records <laughs> in the process. As you can imagine, no one has done anything ridiculous like that before. Um, but it, it is awesome to see that people are still finding ways yeah. to push the boundaries of human limitations. So, Nick Wallender, you crazy fool. You yeah. crazy, crazy Not fool. Not the first scary stunt he's done. <laughs> and yeah, we wish him only the best. I almost want to ask, what is he going to do next? Uh, well, my big question now is, where in the world? <laughs> where in the world? Cat, Leanne, where in the world, guys?